And we're back. All I really had to do was start a new video. And all I gotta do now is just jetpack. Ha. And now... Now, I unfortunately do need this ability. You want to be able to do this. There's nothing over there, as you can see. Alright, this is a bit tricky, so bear with me. And we go in here, and the goal is, of course, right through here someplace, as you'll soon see. But if we step on that, we're in trouble. I suppose it's not hard hard, but it's advised that you have this ability. And the jetpack, I think, just because it makes it easier to get down. And, of course, the goal is accessible now. I guess you could come to the side. I just, I think it's best. You're going to want this anyway for future reference, so... The jetpack's only so useful. Uh, I don't know which level to do first. level first, being as I won't have to worry about it too much. Cloud again. Now you can understand why I chose this ability, is because in this level, it's quite handy. Oh, but I missed the jump. Well, it's handy because you can stomp on these guys. Their spines are very painful. But of course, you can also get it, so... Well, not so quick, you take a hit. In which case, then you won't. Want that? Let's wait here until he blows. Whoop! Oh, that was unfortunate. Go! Woo! I wonder if I can get something here, because I could use an ability. Aha! That's perfect! The dragon suit! There is a checkpoint. I believe it is. Well, maybe this isn't the checkpoint. Maybe this is where you get the treasure. I will know soon enough, I guess. Again, you mostly just gotta stand here. And wait. And of course you can uh, hit them. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Uh, that brother. Oh, there's that. I don't need that one right now. Whoop, down. Uh, no, alright, so there's no key here yet. Alright, well, we can, as I said, I th no, I guess not, I thought. Yeah, there is a key here. I thought there was a key here. I'm gonna take that back. The dragon suit's mostly just needed there, so it makes it so simple getting up and down. I can't begin to think of how you do it without it, because those guys are just nasty. I think it's the most we've ever se of those guys we've ever seen in a single room. And again, this key can be used to kill any enemy with ease. And don't worry about getting every coin. You don't need to worry too much. Uh, yep, the key is a super weapon. And there goes a cloud again. This is the checkpoint spot. 
can use this to, of course... Manage your way up. Too bad you can't use it in this, but... Just cause... You never know. This level is a... Rather difficult spot. Fortunately, you get a lot of money coming down that, so... Again, the ice here just makes for such a fun time. I mostly don't uh, worry about anything but that, because this makes it easy. Alright, good, we made it to the treasure room. Yeah, as you can see, jetpack and hearts will take in a bit. Be very careful in this room. You can go for as much money as you want. I mostly just go for the keyhole. And here's our treasure! A, I think it's a bell, if I'm not mistaken. One more treasure to the collection. And through the door. As you can see, these levels really haven't been anything short. Boom. Watch out for the ice on the edges, by the way. Alright, this is where jetpack comes in handy. You don't want this until after you deal with the key. You want to make sure you can... Uh, make that jump, because I've had it where I've actually missed. I have a little water, but not too difficult. Okay. And... Hey, look, it's one of those guys! Just hit him. And there's our goal. How am I? Simple. One thing you might have noticed about this area is it has no boss signal. So we don't know where the boss is. How interesting. I know where he is. Here's the next level. But we're not going to do that one next. We're going to do this one next. I don't remember which goal they use, but whichever goal works. There's our key, as you can see. We get it fairly early on in this level. But we uh, will have a ways to go before we can actually put it to any use. Ah! He got me. Well, no one's ever perfect. Alright, you gotta be checking these blocks. We're gonna have to get rid of that. Okay, it's not there. I don't remember where it is. Let's see. There's the devil. Here we go. Careful here, guys, because it's very slippery, very easy to hurt yourself. Fortunately, the key is not on ice this time, or the lock on the key. And a shield of sorts. How nice is that, guys? One more treasure to the collection. That just leaves F. And then we have to go fight the genie again for the best ending, of course, because we'll have all the treasure, and so long as you have all the treasure, you're pretty sure, guaranteeably, you will get the best ending. Now to the goals. Now that the key's done, that's the easy part. Shame I don't have a. Uh, I can't put myself on top. You might have noticed something strange here. Like why there's a coin just right here. I'll uh, leave that a secret for now. And we'll go down this ladder first. Get him down. I don't think we're going to need that, fortunately. 
And the goal, as you can see... Alright, I'm back. Uh, ran out of time there. The goal, as you can see, is out of reach. So as, you know, to fulfill you in where you might have gotten cut off. And... I'm just destroying these blocks because I can. But, uh, alright, and since I no longer have that ability... So we can actually get a dragon suit, which is nice. Next, hit the block. Now we just walk this way. Walk this way. <laughs> Try not to fall, because I've undoubtedly ruined myself by destroying those blocks. Not really, though. There's the goal! Da -da 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 -da. 14 coins ain't much, to say the least. What? Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought that was gonna lead. We'll do this level first, then we'll go get the bonus goal, and we'll get the final treasure. This level... That music should say it all. In, and if you've guessed that it's a boss level, you are correct. It is a boss level, but you don't actually have to fight the boss. Now, there's a couple secrets here. But it's also a pretty tricky level, so we're going to have to be pretty careful. The dragon suit makes this spot pretty easy. First off, we can get a ton of money to get us started with 100 coins. So this is a uh, easy level to get money if you really want money because it's easy to get to that point. I'm not going to be taking that. This is because I'm going to keep that jetpack safe in the case that I lose this rocket pack. Could happen here too. I've had it happen here. Alrighty, now this is a bit tricky. Put my mouse off. Sorry. I'm trying to move my mouse off is harder than it looks. Can always get back up without too much of a hassle. I don't want that. I want to go this way. This is where things get difficult, as you can see. There are moving logs. Strangely enough, one of them glitched. There it is, it's back. Uh, I've never actually known that glitch before, but yeah, these things will try to hurt you, and if you touch them, you will get hurt, so. it's a lot of money to collect on this level, by the way, guys. I'm doing this for completion's sake. Whoop! Well, now I have reason to go back. And again, you can pretty easily avoid these obstacles by going on to the far left path and not swimming towards the wall. I've had an incidents where it glitches and I die. We're not going to go back for the jetpack because I don't need a jetpack. Theoretically, the jetpack won't make me any faster, so it's not going to be much use right now. Besides the point that, of course, we're right here. And I will be using this because what the heck, why not? You never know what can happen. There's a lot of problems here. Because there's a jetpack right here, obviously. <laughs> I knew that. Not really, but... I remember there was a, uh, a hat of sorts. Very easy to lose these. That's why I'm not worried about the money. Now we're out. These guys all look vaguely familiar. You know, they, they're they very dangerous to hit. Oh, watch out for that guy. Whoa! Alright, he's taken down. And here we are. The boss is pretty simple. Jump on his head. He'll drop in the water and come out with a hat. Get rid of the hat, you just have to hit his back. Uh, and if you don't want to defeat the boss, just go through the door. 
He looks like, I guess he's a penguin boss, to be honest. This is a boss, I believe, well, maybe you can't fight him again, I don't know. But again, he's not hard to beat, so that's why I'm just beating him. Bam! And unlike before, we get lots of hearts. Nice! And that ends the Sherbetland uh, world, or rather that completes it, because you've beaten the boss. As you can see. Ching. So now we have better access to it from right up here, but we're not done there, obviously, because there's a hidden goal. Indeed. And I have to check the time. There is time to go and get this. As you can see, if you hit a block without a key, you don't get the key anymore because, well, you've already got the treasure, so what the point? What the heck? What's the point of the key? So you probably remember what we did last time. These guys are so heavy, they slow me down. Oh, he got me. I have shrunk to the size of a puny little, uh, puny, um, scrimp. Alrighty, we're gonna go to this. Before I do that, I'm gonna go to this guy. Well. <sighs> Somehow, this will go to this guy. There we go. The secret is right here. I can't go that way, can go this way. And we can't go back down, so... Just keep going until you reach this spot. This will lead us to our bonus goal. Little bit more of a challenge, but not very. Pretty similarly. To be honest, it's pretty simple to get to either of these goals. This level, really, really. Simplest of all the Sherbet Land levels. Fortunately, they give you at least a decent amount of money. And this level is just basically a one-off, off-beaten track. Oop. Let's get started. This one's a bit tricky. First off, here's the key. Oh, but we need a key. We don't have a key. Well, uh, let's see what's in here, shall we? Here's a familiar guy spot. Hit the block. You come through this door. Hit the block again. Go through the door. No blocks. You want this block to be active. And we want to backtrack. That's right. Backtrack to this door. Basically, you just have to fly over if you had a jetpack. But now you can see there's a ladder instead of blocks. Wait till this guy's gone. Hit him from whichever side pleases you. This is... well, there's harder, so... There's our key. Ha ha! Ooh, it was a ten. Oh, now just drop down. Follow the trail of coins, if you will. But be sure to be very watchful of your surrounding. Hit the block, if you will. We don't hit the block because that would be death. And we get our key and we uh, keep on going. And when we come back, we're gonna finish Sherbet Land off. Alright, we're back. Sherbet Land shall now be completed. 
Yay! As you can see, there's a slight block now, but... And as you can see, this is up because we have the other block active. That's nice. So now we do this. And the last treasure! Ironically enough, is a genie's lamp. Or at least a, can a lamp, I should say. I'd like to say a genie's lamp, but I guess it's, you could just say a lamp. And uh, next, <clears throat> next is in here again. Oh, I gotta hit the block. Oh. Nice. Now we have a jetpack. Now we're in the water. Be careful you don't go all the way down. It would kill you. You can get a checkpoint right above me in that door. But I have no way of getting it because I do not have the ability to stomp. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Apparently they're not good swimmers. Now I can show you the checkpoint room. Bit of money here. As you can see. Take it all. More of the merrier. We almost have 100 coins, but this level is, as I said, not the best for money. The boss level, worth a lot. Careful right here, guys. Just smash him through the door. And one of the final goals, of the final goal of our game. Oh, I shrunk. Let's open it up. And that's the final goal. Which means we have officially completed Wario Land. All that's left now is to do an ending. And I'll do that next time. So, no nothing, uh, new areas unlocked, unfortunately, from that, so. Uh, I guess I took the path. So, for completing the entire game of Warrior Land, almost, anyway, we have one final task again, is to defeat Captain Syrup, her genie, as it were. I want to say it's going to be okay, but I don't know. So, until then, you're just going to have to be patient. My name's Conyard. I'll see you then. And you'll get to uh, actually watch the credits all the way through. You'll get to see the credits go through, and I'll probably do some talking. But for now, this is Conyard signing out. Hello, everyone. We're back. The audio levels should probably be pretty similar. So let's get going. Let's get Captain Syrup um, some business. I'm not even going to worry about getting any money because at this point, I think we're good. I'm praying anyway that we have enough. I'm almost wondering if I need to use the checkpoint, however, because of, as you may have remember, as you probably have seen, my second attempt well maybe you have maybe you have it I don't know but my second attempt to beat the genie was rather disastrous not that it was hard to get there it was rather difficult to beat the genie I couldn't get my lamp the lamp wouldn't give me any clouds not that I blame the lamp it was uh, just as it is
Whoop. I may have just hit my turbo speed button. They could actually come in handy right here. There we go. I mean, you guys have seen this thing happen a hundred times. Well, maybe not a hundred times, but enough times to know how that battle works. Okay. Through the door. Oop, I wasn't paying attention there. That's okay. Fortunately, like I said, there is a, uh, I've just shown you guys there's this here. Oh, poor pirate dude. Looks like I get to kill him. Of course, the genie battle. Which already it's starting to get an interesting start. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, be ready. Go! Four, five, jump! Come on. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Mostly it's just about getting lucky, I think. However, it's remote if you hold the up arrow, it's a little easier. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna let that guy fall. Because, again, that's just trouble. We're actually speeding right through this, which is good. We need to save as much time as possible. Here we go. Defeated! Unfortunately, I accidentally threw the lamp. And, of course, 300 extra coins. It's another easy way to make money. Just keep beating the final boss. And as usual, she's peeved and steamed. But, uh, well, she'll deal. Wario gets out alive. Statue of Princess Peach, you know, blah, blah, blah. You've already seen all this, but, uh... So I'll just hit my warp button. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird. As usual, Wario brings out his the genie, and this time he's a friendly genie, because he's no longer controlled by Captain Zero. And as usual, he greets Wario one wish, Wario thinks, and then he comes up with an idea. He wants a castle. I have confirmed it is a castle. And as always, we gotta give him money. First treasure worth 2,000. Oop, kind of skipping a bit. 9,000 for this treasure. I don't really know how the order works, but whatever. This one's worth 6,000, it seems. I don't remember the amount, so we'll soon know. Huh? The next treasure is worth 9,000. 37,000. That's already a fair sum of cash, and we've still got a lot of treasure. More than 60-ish percent. 7,000 there, I believe, or, oh, yeah, I think so. Eight thousand. Four thousand. Eight thousand. They're probably better playthroughs, which showcase all the endings. Me, I'm not worried about showing the endings, but I am worried about getting a good full playthrough. So I'm kind of just saying the amounts because I didn't have much else to say right now. 
a harp, six thousand. I don't know how much that shield is worth. I don't remember it being worth much, but we'll soon know. It was worth seven thousand. I thought it was only worth five thousand. Two thousand more than I thought. How about the bell? Nope, the moon, the ball. Five thousand. That brings us up to eighty-six thousand. That's a lot of money. And we still have two treasures left. Three thousand. And five thousand. Ninety-four thousand coins. There's one bag. We should be seeing a single bag pretty soon. Yep. There'll be a third bag coming along, like, within 30,000 range, I bet. A little lower than I guess. So, do I have enough for the best ending? That is the question. I don't know. Oh, we're gonna have five money bags. So clearly I had enough, because I think you need five bags to get the best ending. Here you are, Mr. Genie. All the money. Actually, I really don't care because, frankly, what would I do with all that money? I guess I should say, what would Warrior do with all that cash? I mean, he just wants a mansion or a castle. He can go looting later, so... That's what he is. He's a treasure hunter. He's bound to find more treasure. Yes! The best ending! There it is. Wario Castle. This is the castle in, that you will see in Wario Land 2, I believe. Which we will play through. And that's the end of Wario Land, but unfortunately not much time, so I'll have to... You've pretty much already seen this, so I mean, he just kind of goes around. Next game on my list, however, is the Sword of Mana, I believe is what it is called. And I'm thinking of doing some Castlevania. It ought to be a surprise, uh, an interesting surprise for me, because I don't know anything about the Castlevania games... Uh, to an extent. I know of them, obviously, or I wouldn't have chosen to play them. <laughs> but I don't know anything about the game, the GBA games, so... I really don't know a whole lot about these... I don't know the story or beyond, you know, vampires and stuff, so it'll be pretty surprising. It'll be kind of blind. <laughs> we'll have to try to understand the story. That'll actually be a Let's Play of instead of this, because this is more of a playthrough, I guess. And again, Oil Land 3 will be more of a walkthrough or a playthrough, like Oil Land 1's one. But Oil Land 2, we'll have to see. I haven't played it as recent, so... <laughs> I may not even be able to remember the levels that well. We'll see. So until then, this is Conyard. Thanks for watching. Hope you like and subscribe and comment. I'm Conyard, signing off.